London 2022 International Stamp Exhibition was held in Business Design Center from 19th to 26th February. In this video, let me talk about my experience in London 2022. This International Stamp Exhibition is held in London only once in 10 years. So, it is a big event in Philately. From the exhibition catalog, I learned that this exhibition was held under the patronage of IPIP and recognition of the IPPA. Just like what I did in the autumn stamp packs of last year, I just walked around in the exhibition and got something new for my collection and, of course, talked to the people. And one dealer once asked me, how did you know this stamp show? I was stuck in this question because I knew this exhibition quite early, even as early as I became serious in philately. So I looked back and I think I firstly knew this show from this little stamp booklet. This is a booklet designed for the London 2020 International Stamp Exhibition and the 180th anniversary of Penny Black was in that period. So these are stamps in stamps. A Penny Black, a Two Pence Blue, and a Penny Red. I first saw this booklet in November 2020, and the first thing came to my mind was, did I miss something really important? But not long after, I realized it was 2020. The stamp show must have been postponed because of COVID. It became London 2022. I checked my collection. I got quite a few souvenirs from the London 1980 International Stamp Exhibition. And I got the stamp, the first cover, and the postcard. I also got some stamps issued by other countries. And look at the logo of London 1980 and London 2020. They really like to do something with the O's in the word London. But as London 2020 became London 2022, they couldn't do it anymore. So the logo is just London 2022. The exhibition volume was very large. It was so large that it was divided into two parts. The first four days was the first half, and the day five to day seven was the second half. I had no time to check out all the frames there. I just looked at something attracts me and something I'm familiar with. These are the castle definitives. Oh, these are beautiful. Some at early maxi cars. Castles, 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 a lot of castles. In addition to the frame exhibitions, there was a lot of literature to read in the reading room. I should have learned a lot from the frames and the reading room, but I spent more time in walking through the booths and talking to different people. Just like Stamp Packs, Linda 2022 had a lot of booths of organizations, companies, and dealers, but it looked more crowded than Stamp Packs. Of course, Real Mail was there, and Stanley Gibbons was in the center, and there are also booths of RPSL, Postal Museum, and I always enjoyed artwork showed by Speak. I bought some stamps designed for the 2022. At first, it's the smaller sheet. There are 20 Hello First Class stamps and some labels about the services of Real Mail. And this miniature sheet was issued to celebrate the designs of David Gentleman. And it was issued one day before the stamp exhibition. And, and it has the, the old print of the logo of the 2022. David Gentleman is widely considered Britain's most original and influential stamp designer. And the Postal Museum showed a selection of David Gentleman's wood engravings there. Oh, I know this set of stamp, 12 Days of Christmas. It was a very classic and fun set of 
Christmas stamps. And last week, I also went to the Postal Museum to see more engravings and design of David Chatterman. I also got the Post and Go stamps with the overprint of London 2022 in the museum. Let's go back to this miniature sheet. And there are stamps on stamps, a very popular topic. Beckingham covers caught my attention by the sheet they made. They combined the original stamps with the new miniature sheet. So here is Beckingham covers. And, and can you introduce what yeah, are absolutely. these? Absolutely, yeah, we're Buckingham covers. So we do British first day covers. We take the stamps that Royal Mail issues and produce our own envelopes for them. So they let us know in advance what their plans are. On the Friday of the show, uh, the day before the show, they issued this miniature sheet, um, which was in general sale in all post offices, but only available at the show as from the Saturday, the day after, was the overprinted miniature sheet with a tiny difference of the logo. So we, this is our main cover that will go out to all our customers, um, the overprint. And once we, we heard sort of six months or so ago that it would be David Gentleman would be the featured um, artist on the sheet um, and showcasing what he's done over the last 50 years. Um, so we wanted to do something special for that. Um, so we took the sheet that came out of the show um, but looked at all the stamps. So for instance, the 1976 Reformers issue, which is the 8P reproduced on the sheet, we got the other three values, so that's a set of four. So you've got the, the one value and then the other three making up the original set of four that was issued. So we did the same with the ships issue. We've got the, the 9D there, but we put the other ship stamps on. Um, that left us with a problem we didn't realise at the start, um, which was what do we do with the actual genuine stamps, so the ones that um, are in the miniature sheet. So we, we stuck them on the back of the card. I don't know if you can see that in there. So oh. That's it's cool. got the genuine stamps on the back. I've been doing the show since um, 1990. This is my fourth one, fourth international. Um, mm. And there's always been show souvenirs, and the show souvenirs go back to the, well, back to 1890, I guess, was the first show souvenir for the 50th anniversary of the Penny Black. <laughs> so I wanted to do something special for the show. So um, that, this is our version of, a, of an idea that's sort of well over 100 years old now. Apparently, Beckingham covers focus on covers. They are selling some very cool items such as some covers signed by some political figures, sportsmen and other celebrities. And check out their website for more information. London 2022 looks quite similar with the stamp packs, but this time PTS was not the organizer but an exhibitor. Hi, I'm Isabel from the PTS and you are on the PTS stand at London 2022. This is um, where we have lots and lots of PTS member information, lots of catalogs and things like that. You can pick up your free collector handbook, um, apply to become a PTS member and find our directory listing here. Um, you can also save the dates for upcoming stamp show, which is the 28th of September to the 30th of October and buy your old smiler sheets. I hope you have a great show. Thanks. I got the free handbook from the PTS booth. In the book, there is article of James from the Digital Philatelist. And in his article, he mentioned exploring stamps, of course, and stamp cat stamps, and me. That's very cool. Okay, if you want to read it, you can pause my video and do it. RPSL got a large booth in London 2022, and my friend Jack was there. He introduced what Royal was doing there. Hello everybody, and welcome to our Royal stand. And uh, this year is uh, very special and is uh, bigger than before. And uh, during the show, we got uh, many volunteers from the Royal, from our members and uh, fellows. I remember this time for eight days show, we got total over 80 members and the fellows as a volunteer. And the main uh, aim for our stand is try to you know, attract more people to join us and maybe give a brief introduction to some uh, philatelic friends. So I do hope you like 
our society, the oldest uh, philatelic society in the world, is a uh, very good player to introduce our society. And I hope you enjoy it. And uh, if you like, do come to visit us and uh, to become a member of the Royal. Thank you very much. At a stamp show, there's always something that attracts me such as the artwork of the Red Monkey, and it is from the Superb Gallery. It is a gallery run by a couple in New York, and it is a gallery of art, stamps and coins, and in London 2022, they are known as Superb Gallery of Stamps. They were selling a lot of expensive stamps of China, such as the Red Monkey stamp, of course, and the Large Dragon. Oh, I love them a lot, but they are over my budget. Uh, I'm from New York um, with a superb gallery. We do art and stamps and coins. So this is our one of um, the work from our artist. It's um, JD, which is uh, Jiang, and he loves you know to do pyrographies. So uh, this is the, um, the monkey is uh, the image of, of the monkey stamp. Issue, you know, in 1980. Another is uh, the Ginger J, so she's uh, specialized, you know, in uh, abstract. If you are in New York, definitely check out Superb Gallery. What excited me the most was seeing what I had learned from the online philatelic community. I saw the Slania stamps and plates from Faroe Island stamps stand. That's what I had learned from Stamp Cat Stamps. It is a joint issue of Denmark, Green Line, and Faroe Island of last year. It commemorates the 100th birthday of the great stamp engraver, Czesław Slania. When I was making the footage of the Faroe Island Stamps stand, a gentleman was there. I didn't know who he was, and he started to talk to me. During our conversation, I gradually realized who he was. Martin Mock. I knew this name, but not what he looked like. He is the designer of the Slania stamp and the most productive living stamp designer and engraver in the world. Hello, I'm Martin Mock. I'm a stamp designer engraver and uh, I work for uh, 28 different countries among them uh, China the last 10 years where I've also been a, been a teacher. So here I'm now here for Fair Island and United Nations to uh, sign and sell the stamps and, and talk about my work. So one jubilee here we have is the, the Slania 100 years jubilee where we're selling this folder where, with engraving, same engraving for Fair Island, Denmark and Greenland. That includes also a black print taken from this steel plate, which is the original engraving for all of this. For the British audience, I have three stamps of uh, John Lennon celebrating the 50 years anniversary of the song Imagine. Mm. This I did for United Nations last year. Mm. And I have a lot of different stamps. We also have Fair Island stamps here, the Viking stamps, the Fair Island knife, which is a stamp that is, in, the whole stamp is engraved, and then we put uh, gold foil in the gilded parts of this mm. knife. And most, as I said, most of the stamp I do is my own IDs. I just come up with an ID and I call the right postal administration and say, let's do this. And this is how I work. The Fairy's Knife Stamp is one of the coolest items in my collections. Okay, that's my experience in the 2022. Stamp shows can't be boring. I'm already looking forward for my next one. I'm definitely going to the Autumn Stamp Hacks again this year, but maybe I will visit more before. As always, if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe and follow me on social media if you haven't. Thank you for watching, see you next time.